Hey guys, it's Tiff back again, and I'm going to do a real-time video today. And so with this video, I'm showing you a little snippet of the uh, journal that was made for me by Shelly. And I will include her Instagram uh, below. I've used this journal many times. And I always get questions about the journal, so I'm doing a quick little flip through here uh, just briefly before I get started in the journal. So today I really want to encourage you, and this video is going to all be about um, just listening to your intuition and letting it kind of guide you through the process. So if I had learned that... Um, Wow, when I first started art journaling, I would have really enjoyed it so much more. So many people question whether, oh, would anybody like it? Is this good? Remember, that's what not what this is about. This is my journal. I can explore, create, I choose to share the process with you guys. But if you don't want to share your process or your pages with anyone, you don't have to. So don't let the, um, I have so many comments of people saying like, I wish I could do that. I want to get started or whatever. Just do it. Grab you some very basic supplies. Today, really all I'm going to use is I did scribble a little bit with that, um, what was that color pencil? But I'm going to use mostly just the scraps off of my table as well as my glue stick. And I'm just, I don't even use any paint, I don't think, today. So I want to encourage you, whatever you have, don't let you waiting on that perfect supply or being able to afford X, Y, or Z hold you back from actually just digging in and listening to your intuition. So I'm taking literally the scraps off of my desk and torn pieces that have come from other pages to create this uh, journal spread. So literally any giblets, scraps of paper that you have, um, you use it. You know, play with it. See, express yourself um, with your intuition and just let it guide you. Um, never think too far ahead. Just go with how it feels at that moment. So, that's my preaching for the day. And I'm going to take, this is some rusty um, dyed material. I believe it's probably the same rusty dyed material that uh, Miss Rainey gave me. Uh, her Instagram name is I Am A Crafter. My sister's the artist, um, which I, Rainey. I'm going to challenge you on that because I think you're an amazing artist. So she gifted me with that um, rusty dyed fabric and so I'm using it. I love the rusty colors with the um, blues and indigos um, in the journal that uh, Shelly um, made for me. And then um, I wanted to even out, like from a composition standpoint, the stark black that was down at the bottom, I wanted to kind of bring your eye around the page. And that's why I'm using the black over on that left hand corner side. If this is your first time joining me, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you chose my channel to share this video with me. Um, I am so close, guys, to 14,000 subscribers. I would love it if you shared my channel with any of your artsy friends that uh, you think may want a little Southern Gals in their life. I would be uh, very honored to have you. And you saw me earlier take that mustardy um, hue of new pastel, in you pastel, um, and that is a really fun little thing to use. It was just over there in my little jar, and it caught my eye, and I know that I love the mustard with the blues, so I was like, let's go for it. And here I'm tinkering about, and my decisions are really made on my gut. If I put something down as like an audition and it seems too busy or too heavy, then I just pick it up. I mean, no harm, no foul, right? So I don't really get caught up into where is this going. I'm just literally letting my intuition 
push me around the page and see what feels good to me. I love this uh, picture that went through a bath of sorts. It actually was Orly Avenary um, workshop that I went to and she allowed us to take some of the stuff that she created in her um, little dye bath and this was the picture that I chose to take with me and I've really been wanting to use it but again listening to my gut listening to my intuition it just hasn't found the right page yet for it so I am pretty um, ballsy in the sense that um, I will tear up a picture and not think twice about it because my gut tells me to. So I wish that I had learned to listen to it and stop second second guessing my intuition early on. But now that I'm here, I enjoy my art journaling process so much more because I'm not worried about... Um, copying someone else's style or using a certain supply. I just literally go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And if y'all like it, you like it. If you don't, then you'll give me a thumbs down and you'll keep it moving. Just joking. <laughs> Those people that give thumbs down, they give me heartburn, but it's all good. So I'm here using this Mark Saw. I think this, no, this is not a, this is a China marker. You saw me unravel it there. And I really like the like little fine edge that it had um, as I rolled that off. And so I'm just taking and creating some movement and energy with those black lines. And I'm really feeling good about it. I'm really feeling like um, it's going in the direction that I want it to. Which I didn't even necessarily really know what direction I wanted it to go until I sat down and started playing. And that's how I roll. No preconceived ideas. No, I want to use this or that. I just literally sit down and listen to my gut as I layer upon layer upon layer. And that's fun to me. So, um, I did feel like it needed a little more texture on that left-hand corner side there because I had um, used that fabric down at the bottom. So, I wanted to incorporate that somehow. And I'm just taking a little giblet piece. And for those of you who are new to my channel, when I say giblets, I'm talking about little scraps. Okay. So little scraps of paper, little scraps of fabric, little giblets of things that I have uh, tossed about on my work surface, I use those. And one of the giblets was this amazing tissue paper that had words on it, which I feel relatively confident that one of you amazing people sent this to me in Happy Mail because y'all are always sending me good stuff to go in my mailbox and I um, this word is boundaries and so I want to leave you with the thoughts of just pushing your boundaries if you always have a tendency to use a certain color palette or maybe use um, maybe not necessarily listen to your intuition but do what you think is going to be pretty then I want you to push it I want you to push the limits I also would love it if you would tag me Tiff made me do it is my hashtag on Instagram also if you're not following me on Instagram I would love for you to because I follow back and I love to cheer you on as you work through your process as well. So I want to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you for almost getting me to 4,000 subscribers. I would love it if you're brand new to my channel and you want to click the subscribe button. Click that little bell so you get notifications. I usually do at least one video a week and I just thank you for being here guys. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your week and until next time. To live.